Hey what's up guys, Parta Moto here and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna try to help the new riders how to start riding a geared motorcycle, how to gear up and what kind of motorcycle to buy. Stay tuned. Hey and welcome back. So if you're watching this video you must be a new rider, you don't know what to do or you just want to get into riding and you don't know how to start. Well first is first, if you live in the UK you need a CBT test. You have to do that so then you can go for the full A. But if you're underage and you have to CBT test, that's fine. You're still a motorcycle rider, you know. First is first, if you get your driving license or your CBT test, you go and buy yourself proper motorcycle gear, which means gloves, jacket, trousers, boots and helmet. And I'm not telling, I'm not saying you go and buy from Primark some trousers and jacket. No, it has to be proper motorcycle gear. That's, that's the main thing. You cannot go any lower than that, basically. If you fell off, the leather will just rip, rip apart. Imagine if you don't have that leather protection, that's your skin, which goes down big time. So you must go and buy proper motorcycle gloves, proper motorcycle jacket, proper motorcycle trousers, proper motorcycle boots, and please, your head is more, your head is worth much more than 80 pounds. Please spend a bit more money into it, so your head is pro protected all the time. Advice about buying uh, gear and helmet? Well, about motorcycle gear, you can easily get away with going on Facebook Marketplace, eBay, and buy used ones. Those are totally fine. I have leather gear, they are used ones. I paid a couple of hundred pounds for it. They're brilliant. But when you're buying a helmet, go and buy a brand new one. Even if I get my helmet now and just drop it on the floor, it doesn't have any more the same protection as when it came out from manufacturer because I already hit it. So that's Basically, it helps me nothing if I fell off. If you're rich, you can go and buy from GNS. That's the most popular shop. You can go and buy from them motorcycle gear, brand new. But from my own experience, I think if you buy used motorcycle gears, it's fine. With gloves, you should buy brand new gloves as well on boots because, you know, as you're riding with your gloves, that becomes your hand basically. So it stretches in that way as your hand is. So it's highly recommended to buy new gloves as well. With the boots, it's not so much you can buy used boots, just make sure they're intact and not used to death basically. Second part, buying a motorcycle. It's really crucial what motorcycle you buy first time because if you have just a CBT, you can buy a motorcycle up to 125cc, which is not a lot. They have like 13, 14 horsepowers, which is still fun, but not the greatest bikes. So if you go and buy a 125, please do not go and buy Yamaha, Honda 125s. Just buy something cheap Chinese that does the job so you can learn on it, because someday you're gonna fall off with that bike and you don't want to scratch your brand new Yamaha MT-10 or whatever, or R6, for example, if you like sports bike. Just buy a cheap one. I even can suggest, if you're buying a 125, buy a used one of somebody. Take one of your mate who is who knows about motorcycles and knows and know how they are running and stuff. Take one of your mates with you to help you choose the new motorcycle because it, it doesn't worth it to buy a brand new one. Now those with the big bikes, so you have your A driving license, everybody suggests you to go and buy a 5-600cc motorcycle. It's entirely up to you. If you feel you can handle the motorcycle, just go for it. Just, just go for it. But if you don't feel that confidence that, yes, I can handle 120 horsepower, or a sports bike above 200 horsepowers, then don't do it. Then just buy a slower naked bike 
which is upright position and you feel much more safer because you don't have to lean in forward that much and when you buy a new motorcycle just go and test it go do runs when you take corners lean in a bit more just try yourself but don't go too much into it just as much as your mind feels yes that's that's quite all right I, I can lean in a bit more you know just test yourself but don't go over it because you're gonna end up crashing and then broken boats nobody likes that okay so these were my tips for new riders thank you for watching make sure you subscribe hit that like button if you have any question leave a comment down below peace out Bye.